<clears throat> so stage one in what I call pad sparring is uh, I show him what to hit. He has to accurately hit, but I, it's nothing for free. I always have to give something back. The golden rule is always have them have the last hit. Don't go, stop, and then walk away. Because he's getting used to getting hit, and it stops. Well, if he's getting hit, it usually keeps going. You, he usually has to stave off an attack because he was the last one to hit. So again, if we were here, and all I ever did was this, None of it is choreographed. If you really look close, it's, it's level one combo mixed up. Okay. Another general rule is, if I miss, he has to go low, then back up high, preferably to the backside. So if I kick, he should know to go to this side, because no one's going to let you that. If anything, a lot of people tend to run like that, and it doesn't help them either. Okay. So the basic pass barring that we're going to do in round one is, you just give them normal sheets. They try and mix up the concept of sport. So if I go from here. Now, if you have a really big guy, be careful about this one because it's either the accuracy or whatever it turns out to be. I'm just leaving it here, not locking it. This is not meant to kill me. This is meant to continue set up for something else, typically something high. So if you're going to go low here, a lot of times it'll look like boxing, finish off with a kick, and if he was really smart, he'd finish with a push kick. This is just one of those, I, I try and almost like act lazy about it because you should know what do you do at this situation. If I'm going like this, Okay, there's nothing for me to do now because he decided make make a break, which was the push kick. You guys see it? Yes, sir.